Oh hi, it's Bukai, and welcome back to another video of Eidolon and our solo Let's Play Challenge. And as you can see, we haven't really been playing much on here, because I've been grinding up the forest fibers for the past couple days, as I need to take advantage and build a second one of these enforced slashers before Lava fixes his integer error, or not really integer, I mean, yeah, technically it's an integer error. It's supposed to be 4,000 rather than 400 on the leather hides. And I want to take advantage of that, so I do. I have already built one, and I want to have a second one built in order to have a buffer for when we make on our World 4, not World 4, our World 3 Tier 5 weapon, because it requires two Tier 4s. And so that's why I'm basically just building it now, so that way I can conserve resources in the future. And yeah, that's essentially the plan. Now, other than that, it's about trying to find some inventory space, because unfortunately, right now, I don't really have much on there. And I think I also need to, because I now have enough forest fibers, I'm just trying to get my stat sticks built up, as my damage is pretty poor. Especially for a level 70 on there. my I should be a significantly higher damage. But I'm not. And part of that's because considering power of a solo comes from the statues. And I haven't been buying my daily statues. I haven't been, you know, grinding actively. Part of that's because I don't have proper internet access and whatnot to sit there and grind for hours on end. Uh, when I get my... Like when I start to farm my actual Zostat my Zo stacks, my Zao stacks again, then I will start on there. But until then, until then, I will have to delay. Now, I don't think I buy or build the actual bayonets in this episode. And once again, I do forget to switch over to Dice Vault 3. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Don't know why, don't know why, but it is what it is. So now I'm just checking through my different quests, and I can see that Krunk's quest wants me to gather up threads and some wood boards and whatnot. Uh, it's not enough to actually get because I'm not going to be into mining, so I kind of, I go through my inventory, but I kind of decide, you know what, I might want to chop the birch logs later, but for now I'm going to switch over towards the trusty nails as I'm going to need it. And I'll leave the others as they are. We've got to look at what we need for the post office. And yeah, as you can see, we're because we've been away for so long on there and we haven't been using our pens, we unfortunately do not have our completed stuff. It sucks, but what can you do? What can you do? Now I'm going to be a while on this actual skilling spot on here before we start continuing back up to World 3, simply because considering if you're looking at my inventory, I'm low on fish. I want to build up my fish by a lot. I need to stack up on my good old-fashioned like alchemy in that. So once my alchemy is boosted up even higher, especially the shaccuracy, then I'll switch over to a mining build and start getting some platinum ore because I want to try and get the I want to try and get enough platinum ore built up in the actual storage so that way I can buy and start upgrading to my e font gear as world 3 starts becoming some serious defense needs. And thankfully with world 3 with farming the mobs on there it drops water. So my stacking of water, well it was still a good idea isn't that necessary. And now I'm just trying to dump useless useless garbage and things that I won't ever use like the actual cheesy pizzas. They're just they're just not useful on there. If I really want to have the next stage of health, I'll just use kebabs instead of the pizzas. And you know what, it's a good way to get money that I can then dump into my alchemy pay to win tab or other places. The only problem is is that it takes takes a while on there and even my main account it took forever to pull out because it's like how many do you have you have three hundred thousand i'm like great great <laughs> yeah it took a took a decent time i wish that lava would give us the ability to inside of our storage just to have like a auto sell thing on there like if you wanted to get rid of let's say you have a million of a resource because you've just been dumping them and now they're useless to you because for example the next tier is up um, yeah, I wish that he would just give us the ability to hit, like, to hit click, sell all. Um, 
yeah, I mean, that could be dangerous. I know there's a lot of people that will accidentally sell their, like, 100 million stacks of their copper ore and just cry, but speaking of copper ore, that's what I'm going to have to mine a ton of before I start getting platinum because I need to get that copper ore up to a minimum of 100,000 as that's just the basic breakpoint that you need. I say breakpoint again, but it's a log algorithm. Now, here's my gambling habit on there where, yep, yep, I am successful gambler. <laughs> uh, it saddens me. But reducing the undeveloped cost is something that I actually haven't been investing in, and I keep forgetting about it. Even when I, like, I start ditching the, uh, whatchamacallit guys, the jellyfish, uh, that's something that I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to be investing a ton of for the next bit is into undeveloped costs just to keep reducing the alchemy bubble costs simply because it gets really, really expensive. And for a solo character, there's a point that you know, you're just not going to be hitting the millions that you, that you were on other characters. And so it is what it is on there. So the rest of this video is just going to be me chopping on the forest fibers because I still don't have enough for the good old fashioned enforced slasher. So you'll see me do that in the background within the next couple videos in order to get a second Enforced Slasher. And I'm eventually going to have to go back to get the Golden Axe because I believe I'm, yeah, I'm level 24, almost level 25. So that's the next step is to get the Golden Axe and to get the good old fashioned a tier 4 weapon in order to get a tier 5 in the future or at least be prepared. Proper preparation and planning prevent piss poor performance. That is the saying as it goes. So with this rambling on there, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give it a like, a subscribe, pass it on to your friends. If you hated it, pass it on to your enemies at a pure spite. And if you guys would like to help support the channel, there's a link to a coffee shop where you guys can buy me a coffee in there as well. And if you guys would like to join our lovely community, there's also a Discord where you guys can join in and chat. And with that, take care, everyone.